Got loads of people asking for more T-Bone fight stories. So here's T-Bone versus Scooter. In 1998, I was in the joint up north and there was a guy they called Scooter. When I got on the yard, in a very condescending tone, he called me Big Boy. Big Boy, carry my bag for me, he said. I was in a position of do or be punked, considering there were no other black men there. So basically, he's called T-Bone out in front of everybody on the yard. Not quite used the N-word, but the boy word has got quite a similar effect. So, is T-Bone going to walk away and be a punk, or is he going to stand up? Let's see. I stepped back from him and tried to kick him upside the head. He blocked it even though it knocked him down. He rolled on the ground and came up in a crouch like a Greco-Roman wrestler and said he's a cage fighter. The cops ran over saying they saw it and they wanted to handcuff me. I said I'd walk to wherever I had to go. One cop pepper sprayed me and Scooter hit me and the sergeant and lieutenant ran over saying that I'd just got there today and I was trying to cause trouble already. So T-Bone gets the blame of course. So they took me to CDU, Complex Detention Unit, and I stayed there for seven days until the DHO, Disciplinary Hearing Officer, came. I got released back to the yard with a major ticket for fighting, but this time when I came through the gate there were several black men there. They said they heard what had happened and they had my back. I went to building one, Abel Pod, and Scooter lived in Charlie Pod right next door. Scooter wants a piece of you in the gym. When we get let out for wreck, go to the gym so you guys can get down, said the head of the whites who was running the pod. So they want the guys to squash the beef one on one don't want all the gang stuff to kick off because that stops the drug business if the prison gets locked down. So I told the brothers what was up and some of the white guys in the pod said they were putting their money on me. <laughs> <coughs> the whites are betting on T-Bone. We went to Chow, ate Chow and came back and went to the gym. The rec officer was on the payroll for the whites also Oh, he was the punk. We met on the baseball court and there were between 85 to 90 guys in there. We started circling each other. He rushed my legs in a wrestling technique. I pushed down on his shoulders and threw my legs back and got away from him. He got pissed off and pulled off his sweatshirt and this boy was ripped. I'd say he weighed 235 or 240 pounds on a 6'3 frame and I was only 257 at the time. We started throwing blows at one another and we both missed. I settled down and took my time and started to hit the guy. I hit him with my right hand over his left eye and it ripped him wide open but he wouldn't quit. I hit him in the sternum and his left lung. It slowed him down but someone threw him a shank. I looked over at the cop to see if he was going to break it up but he just stayed in his office doorway. So it's getting deadly now with the shank business. I knew then that I was going to have to do something extremely serious to this guy in order to end this and make it stop. He stood there breathing with nothing but hate in his eyes. He rushed at me, tried to stab me in the head, but his own blood was on his hands and he didn't have a good grip on his weapon. I sidestepped him and grabbed his right wrist with my right hand and hit him with my left elbow and stunned him good. I let go of his wrist, put my right foot behind him, grabbed him by the throat, slammed him to the ground. His head hit that cement with a crack and the whole place went quiet. His lover, or should I say his punk, rushed me and I hit him with a right squirt in the forehead and followed it with a kick in the nuts. And then I chopped him behind the neck when he bent over and that was all she wrote. All the guys there put the punk on top of the dude and the cop got on the radio and called for backup and people were trying to wake him up. 
for a minute or so it took the cops to get there, those two were holding each other to each other because they were out of sorts. The cops grabbed them, tackled them, handcuffed them and took them to medical. They started snitching. The captain and the warden didn't believe that I had anything to do with it and sent word to the yard that those two guys were no good. I gained my respect and ran my side of the yard. Oh, well, that was a good ending for T-Bone. He smashed Scooter real good. The punk didn't do much to save him. And um, I'll be posting another fight story from T-Bone soon. If you want to donate to T-Bone, his link is in the description box below this video. There's also a link in there to the tour I'm doing across England right now in the Midlands, Birmingham, Sheffield, Nottingham, going up to Liverpool, Manchester, we'll be doing later on London and Brighton. If you want to get tickets for that, click on that link. And I'll also put links in to T-Bone's previous letters that I've posted to my blog, John's Yale Journal. It's up to 73 letters now I've posted from T-Bone in the last 10 years. Appreciate all your support for him. And people now are even looking at his case and helping him. And hopefully we can get him out before the five years he's got left. Cheers from London.